Welcome to the fifth part of the actions of the super admin and probably the last before other users, that is the institution admin, the employer and the graduate probably post any other details so that the super admin can act on. And that is none other than communication section. So in the communication section, uh, it's very easy. We are just uh, trying to, to send communications to all other users of the system. And there are, there, there are only two users of this system which are allowed to do such. And that is the super admin and the employer. So in this case, I am going to only send this communication from the super admins platform. And uh, while doing that, uh, we also select to whom these communications they are supposed to to view so we have uh, uh, right now I'm in the communication section and we have an announcement we have an advert we have a report and down here we have a message that you're supposed to leave behind we have a PDF and we have to select the type of users that are going to receive this particular communication you can see the super admin is by default selected that is uh, because he's the super admin all types of communication that are made in this in this system he is supposed to view them because he is the super admin so i'm going to do an announcement and firstly i'm going to do an announcement to the institution admin then next to the employer so that you can distinguish between the two and you can see whom is going to view the the the, the notification while i do either to them so this is an announcement maybe i leave behind a message just write a message and uh, here I'll select an institution admin. Now this will be the first message that, that I'm doing and I'll leave behind maybe a PDF uh, and post. So right now the system is uh, sending a notification to the institution admin that there is an, an announcement that has been created of them. Then I'm going to do another, another communication and this time i'm going to send to the employer and this time round let me do maybe a, a report so as the previous one i'm going also to leave a message no, um, this time round i'll be i'll be specific so that you can distinguish the two message to the to the employers employers yes so we have a message to the employers. I will attach a PDF. Uh, I will send it to the employer. Post. So right now the system has two messages that have been sent to these two users of the system. I've not sent any message to the graduate because uh, I've not I've not yet started dealing with the graduate yet so let me just deal with the employer and the institution admin so i'm going to log in as one of any of them so that you can see what is happening on their end so we have uh, i took i'm going to log in and as you can see i have one notification here and uh, if i open this notification it's saying we have a new message. It is an announcement from Super. So I'm going to check under the communication, under the announcement section. And there we go. Oh, sorry. What is happening here? Was it an announcement or an advertisement? It was an announcement. Yeah. There we go. So we have an announcement. You can see the message that we left behind. Here is the PDF. You can download it. You can view it. And uh, so I'm going to log in as again as the as the employer. If I remember well, it was Eric. So there was a target message to this particular user and here it is under the notification one new app notifications new message report from super check under communication so under communication here we go uh, and uh, all that is where we get all the kind of communication of communications that have been made from the super 
so we have the message to the employers so here there is a PDF unfortunately the target is not blank so maybe I'll correct that in future so you have the date created and created by who and this is the message so that's it as far as messages are concerned and uh, under the super admin that is so I'm going uh, there is another one more thing that the super admin can currently do without any other data that is supposed to receive from other users of the system and that is he can actually generate a PDF of the number of graduates and the institution they belong to I think so so and on the dashboard we have this particular tab which shows the graduates the total number so there is this PDF but button here which is uh, outlined in uh, in what in blue so we have a uh, let me just open this PDF so we have uh, these two institutions of the PDF that we have generated from the super admins platform so the first institution has one user and the second the same so this is a really cool feature and um, it's it's a it's an extension of laravel mainly uh, meant to deal with pdf extensions and generating of pdfs uh, i'll also leave a link down there to get you the the cdn that is supposed to do that functionality mainly on laravel i don't know about any other PHP framework if they can use the same but I'm sure Laravel Laravel uh, it's really integratable with it so that's it for for this video so in the next video I'll be shifting to the institution admin where I'll be showing what they are supposed to do how they are supposed to do it and the background functionalities that are happening uh, and before that, I think I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to show you, I, I, I had promised that I'll do a video on uh, Postgres, Postgres, how to combine Postgres and ZAMP. So I'm going to do Postgres and ZAMP, then, then go back to the institution admin so that you can, you can uh, follow along with all what I'm doing here. So until then, have a good time, continue subscribing and sharing if you find this video is useful. Thank you.